Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and today we're going to be looking at the final teaser videos this time that Dreamcatcher have put up for Boca and for the album Lose Myself. So over the past couple of days they've put up the teaser for the music video and then the dance preview teaser and then finally this morning a more, well it's not extended, it's only 30 seconds, uh, video teaser. So uh, I've already seen these. They're not going to be true reactions as in first time. Uh, it's been so hard to put put off watching these until I get home from the gym and everything at like eight and nine o'clock at night when they drop at 10 in the morning for me. Going on social media and seeing people being all excited and screenshots and gifts and all this and I'm just like, I couldn't, I couldn't do it, I couldn't do it. But the reaction on Monday for the music video will be true and live uh, because I have the week off so I can watch that just as it drops. I don't have to worry about the rest of the day. But today I just want to go over what we've looked at, what we've seen and just give some thoughts and opinions on them. So there won't be like mind-blowing reactions because I, I already have looked at all these but let's, let's get into it and dive in a little bit and try and dissect what we have. Okay, so first up, we have the music video teaser. I always, I always want teasers to be like the minimum 30 seconds, like 30 seconds to a minute should be a really good teaser. Anything before that, it's like, a, it's too much of a tease because it, it gets your appetite just enough that you're like, oh, I want more, which is the, you know, the whole frigging point of a, of a teaser. But 14 seconds, it's sort of like, oh, it's like yeah, they do the job. Let's get into this. So from the melody, as soon as I heard this intro, I was like, oh, we've got a bit of synth pop. Go away adverts, don't care. And like literally that's it, that, that is it. So we've got the synth pop, which reminds me of, uh, if anyone knows Tron Legacy, um, Daft Punk did the music for that. And the first track called The Grid starts off very, very, very similar to this music. And it's, I've just been thinking of Dreamcatcher in uh, Tron ever since. But let, let's go through this more, more frame by frame. So we have the mask. The mask is back. But this time it's no longer black or fluffy. It looks like it's got newspaper print on it, which I, I can't make any of the words out because they're all cut up. But I'm wondering if this is a mask that's been corrupted, maybe by like all the words, because Boca means mouth in Spanish. Yes. I don't know Spanish, but I think that's what, that, what it is. So maybe like the mask has been corrupted by all the bad things like, you know, um, put downs and people being mean and nasty and rude and just, you know, maybe that's corrupted that. But the girls themselves don't look too corrupted. They look more like they're being, being chased, like this colour palette. Ah, this reminds me of um, whenever I've tried to look for like cool wallpapers and I've looked for like Japan stuff like Japan at night with the neon signs when it's been raining and it's reflected on the floor like ugh, just the pinks and the colors just it just looks stunning so we've got Sua looks like she's in I guess a phone booth spray paint red this sort of reminds me of her outfit from the um, from the concert which is enough to, to give me a heart attack in, in sense just trying to remember that but she looks worried and scared. Dammy doesn't look scared at all. <laughs> she looks like she's in charge of these half. Well, look at that guy. He's got half a mask, half not a mask. Is that his face? I think that might be like a black mask and half not corrupted. But <laughs> she's got a gimps. <laughs> this is Dammy just like, what are you coming at me? I've got an army of gimps. Here we go. But that looks, that looks cool. And here, my girl looking very worried, very scared, very sort of cyberpunky with, with the hair and all this stuff going on. And we've got a uh, guy on looking like Alexa. Like th this, when I first saw the picture online, I'm like, oh, has Alexa put up a new video? No, it's guy on. It's like, wow. And they, I think that they've worked together before. So I wonder, I wonder if uh, Alexa's like, oh, guys, thanks. But she looks, this, this, this image to me looks like she's either hearing voices and she don't want to hear them anymore or like there's something going on around and she doesn't want to listen to it. And like when they try to do psychological things in films 
where it's sort of like, you know, where someone's getting a bit crazy and don't want to hear the voices anymore. They always do that kind of thing. So maybe she's, she's the corrupted one from the first video still, because the mask was all with her. Yo Hyun, not looking scared. Looking kind of badass. I do like this soup, this pan shot. I can imagine this being on a gimbal. The guy just coming, panning around her. And here, got Shion on the run. But who knows, for, it's going to be, was he one of Dami's gimps? It's probably going to be one of Dami's, Dami's gimps. And we've got Gio just looking. She's looking badass, isn't she? She's looking badass. So are we going to have some of the girls being good guys, some of the girls being bad guys, and there's like an internal conflict with them all? Because so far, like, Yo Hyun and Ji Yoo just look badass. Dami's, you know, obviously she's got a gimps. So I'm wondering, I'm wondering what this is all about. Well, it looks so cool. It looks so cool. And I've, I've been wondering since they put this teaser image out a while ago, what the underwater aspect means. Like, <laughs> someone going to drown? Are we going to get some someone drowning? Or it just might be the, like the cleansing sense of fresh water. But that's as much as I can get and take away from that 14 seconds. Next up, we have the dance preview. 16 seconds this time. Thank you guys, we've got an extra two seconds. Let's just run through this one quickly. And honestly, this sounds... I love that that high note background, high note. I think it's Yohyun. So I'm guessing, obviously, I don't think in the music video they'll go black and white. I think this is just, just for us to concentrate more on, on the dance and to give it a little bit of a different aesthetic. I don't think we're going to get some black and white shots in the, in the music video, but it looks badass. Some people have been saying it reminds them of the um, Chase Me dance, which is kind of cool if they're doing some throwback stuff, because they've said that the music video reminds them of what, which for me is brilliant, because that's like my favourite song. Um, Scream, Scream definitely is up there. It's like Scream and what, depending on the day. They're one, they're one and two, or like one on one. It's like ooh, but I'm glad they're bringing what vibes back because some people don't really like what. I think it's absolutely fantastic. The the song's fantastic, but the music video and the colouring and the setting, this does look like it's sort of a sequel to that, just because of how it looks. But dance wise, I'm glad they've got a full team back. I think that worked so well for Scream. Not just in the music video, but on the stages, just having like a big group sort of effort and just stage, it just looked so good. I don't know if any of these girls is the masked dancer from before, or if we're not going to get that. Sorry, hand on. But it looks intense. Like that looks so good. It looks so good. It reminds me of uh, a little bit of the uh, Endless Night. Like that, I, they've not really shown that dance off because they've unfortunately not had the chance to go to Japan and do that. Uh, maybe next year, girls, come to Japan like the end of March, uh, beginning of April next year and come see me and do it then. But it, it, it's got that vibe of like the Endless Night sort of stomp and sort of hardness to it. And you've got the bit like chase me. Looks so good, so damn good, so damn good. And speaking of looking good, look at this, look at this. I was not expecting different stages or settings or scenarios from the music video, just because from what we'd seen in the pictures, kind of thought, okay, we're getting this sort of cyberpunk, futuristic, what slash slash look. I didn't think we were getting some angelic looks as well. It's like, and they just dropped this today. And my first thought were like, holy shit, look at this. I think I put holy shit. And when I commented on the actual thing, I've, I've retyped that since just to put some stars in, just in case it offends people. But look at, just for a start, let's run through it, then we'll, we'll dissect it a little bit. But the, the more I hear of this song, I'm just thinking, is this my new number one? It just sounds 
It's got the parts I love from Scream. It's got the like more of a guitar, like what? And it's like, mm. and I just adore that note in the background, that high note that just sort of carries the song. Nice. We've just got to run through this. We've got to run through this. Starting off, Yo Hyun looking absolutely angelic in I don't know where. Is she in heaven? Is Are we in purgatory? Who knows? This looks like the end setting for where uh, Ji was sort of in her yellow dress. But I'm, I'm loving the set decoration and everything. So, ooh. Sorry about that face. So we've got the street again. So obviously this will probably be the colour palette that they used from the dance preview. It'll probably look like this in the music video. Shame you can see the lighting. <laughs> Could have masked that up. But no, I do, I do like the sort of colour change as well. So it looks like the dance break bits, they're all going to be in black. And then the individual character things, they're all in the, like, the red looks. And then they've got the dresses looking good. So unless there's like a scene where they all corrupt each other or who knows, who knows. I can't, I can't even, can't even try to dissect any of this. Look at this, guys. Absolute angelic beauty. And she knows it. She knows how damn pretty she is. Yeah, so we've got Dammy. Who knows where... They I think this will probably be the same setting because of this tree. So unless they're using different sort of uh, colour scapes. Because so, this kind of has like a sunset midnight sort of early morning golden hour vibe got the street again oh bokeh covered up mouth we, first time i saw it because i was so concentrating on Xion because you can't not when she's on screen you're like oh, i just wow every time she's just breathless i thought it was like a, a joker thing because i just saw red on her mouth quickly and i, I didn't take it in so looking at it it's like covered the mouth up so there's a statue here so I wonder if there's more dotted around they've all got the mouth covered up so they don't like uh, they don't want to hear anything anymore they just want to maybe do their own thing maybe there's a whole sentiment of like not listening to bad words or bad influences and maybe just doing what you want to do because you're your own individual who knows who knows right now and we got this what is going on here I know what's going on here. She's she's in a you know in a wet dress, but like you got the a bit of rain. Is she gonna is she gonna be in this? Is this some sort of? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm my mind's lost when it comes to <laughs> to Sua. Sometimes she goes from being this loud creature to being on stage doing that uh, on the the live stage, just the sexiest routine you've ever seen. To this, it's like. Who is this girl? Who is this girl? And here, look at them all coming together. But they're all... So we've got Sua, Xion, Jiu. She's the only one in colour, so she the... Goddess? The leader of this island? So I wonder if Sua was somewhere in here, doing something. Who knows? But... And I did say that the seeing them in their pretty dresses and the picnic thing was my favourite look for them. And seeing this kind of look as well, I was like, we're actually, we're actually getting like a, a happy dream catcher, like a beautiful dream catcher, not a, a grungy look or a vampire look or a witchy look or a demonic schoolgirl look. We've got like actual like angels and with, with a blue contact, she's, and obviously she's got good nails. She's got to have good nails. It's you. Look at that, look at that. I cannot wait. I already know what my screenshot is for this uh, thumbnail for this video. It's this, it's this. I'll take it right now. There you go. So that's the preview's over, guys. We have three more days until the music video drops. We know that they have a showcase because Sua, thank you, dear, let it drop on V Live that they have a showcase. So who knows? What else they're gonna drop and <laughs> spoil for us? It's not spoilers, because we want this stuff. 
Um, they're going to let us know on VLive over the next few days because it seems they're almost on 24-7. They're feeding us with a lot of great content and that's what Dreamcatcher do the best. Brilliant vlogs, brilliant music videos, brilliant girls, just the most perfect band. And they're going to be on a TV show, I saw a preview it, like a picnic show. I don't know, it looks like absolute chaos which is what I want from Dreamcatcher. I want the world to fall in love with this pure chaos and fun that we all know in Insomnia. I cannot wait, guys. Let me know below what you're thinking of all these teasers. Did you expect anything like this last one with the dresses and just how an absolute shift in color and everything we get? I'm perplexed. When I first saw this, I had to just go back and watch it again because I was just so awestruck at just like, what? What just happened? We've gone from dystopian cyberpunk to heaven? Who knows? Who knows? But we will know in three days. And I will see you guys then. Bye.